Venus of Willendorf is estimated to be 25,000 to 30,000 years old, found in August of 1908 by Johann Varen in a site near Willendorf in Lower Austria. It is carved from oolitic limestone that is not even local to the area and tinted with red ochre. The reason why this figure is dated to what it is is its association with upper Paleolithic gravity and industry with similar sculptures exactly like this dating to the same time it probably was left on the ground somewhere and buried around 25,000 years ago with radiocarbon dating surrounding this exact time it seems to be a type of fertility idol it never had any feet and would not have stood on its own. It might have been pegged into soft ground and stood up on a pedestal. Notice the similarities between this Venus and the Kubaba figure from Anatolia, later becomes the model for Kaibali. Venus at Barakat Ram is also dated to 280,000 years ago. It's a small pebble found on the Golan Heights near Israel. It was excavated by Nama Goran Inbar from the Institute of Archaeology at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Inbar suggested that the object resembled a female body and that was artificially modified by hominids to emphasize its anthropomorphic features. The object was called the figurine and is currently known as Venus of Barakat Ram. And it's fascinating how similar these objects turn out to be. Venus of Hull Fells, dated to 40,000 years ago, found in Europe near Germany. This is the oldest undisputed example of a depiction of a human being. The other two that I mentioned have disputes. This has no disputes. 40,000 years old. Venus figurine looks almost similar to the other ones that I've shown. And it's sculpted from a woolly mammoth tusk, an animal that is no longer alive on the planet. Venus of Dolny Vestanici, 29,000 years ago, found in the Czech Republic at the base of Devon Mountain. It seems to be a symbol of fertility, relatively smaller head and little detail. A feature which no longer remains part of the sculpture is the fact that it is thought to have been originally ornamented with four feathers. This is evidenced by the four small holes on the top of the head. Although the type of feather has not been determined, the holes are said to be produced with a tool that is relatively sharp. In addition to the Venus figurine, figures of a bear, a lion, and a mammoth, along with horse, fox, rhino, and owls, and more than 2,000 balls of burnt clay were found in the same general location. This is the Venus of Galgenberg, dated to 30,000 years old. Because of the figurine exhibits a dancing pose, it was nicknamed Fanny after Fanny Elsler, an Austrian ballerina of the 19th century. It is sculpted from shiny green serpentine rock, which is found in the immediate vicinity of where the figurine was unearthed. This beautiful image right here is known as the Venus of Lassell, carved from the limestone rock in Marquet, France. The figure holds a bison horn in the shape of a crescent moon, or possibly a cornucopia which would be held with oil inside of it. it. Has 13 notches. She has large breasts and a great stomach, just like the other Venuses do, or later on, Kaibli. This one's dated 25,000 years old. This is direct evidence of sophisticated Stone Age tool use. This one was discovered in 1911. The figure and the horn are considered significant in figurative studies of Paleolithic art. And it seems to be just right in line with the other Venus images of around the world. The color and the number of notches on the horn may symbolize the number of moons in a year and the number of menstrual cycles in a year, connecting the goddess with the moon and menstrual cycles. 
Venus of Lespugu dated to 25,000 years ago in the foothills of the Pyrenees in France and Spain. This one is six inches tall, carved from tusk ivory, an extinct animal. The carving shows a skirt hanging below the hips, made of twisted fibers. This statue may display the earliest representation of someone's spinning thread. This one is my favorite, Venus of Brassenpoi, known as the Lady with the Hood. Another fragment of ivory carved from tusk dated to 25,000 years ago found near Spain. She is wearing a hat, which is evidence of sophistication in dress from the Stone Age. This Venus is carved with mammoth ivory, and according to archaeologist Paul Bond, the head is unsexed although it is usually called a Venus or a lady, but the head has a forehead, nose, and brows carved in relief with no mouth. On the head is a checkerboard-like pattern formed by two series of shallow incisions at right angles to each other. The hair is styled in cornrows. It is agreed by scholars that this Venus also belongs to the Paleolithic material culture of the Gravitian from 22,000 to 29,000 years ago. This one, known as the Venus figurine of Gagarina, also made with ivory, dating to 20,000 years ago from Russia. The depiction is very similar to the other ones seen all around the world. This is Venus Zariask. Both of these found in the same location, made from mammoth ivory, dated to 14,000 years ago from Russia. And lastly, the Venus of Monbrus is another Venus figurine dated to around 10,000 years ago, right around the time of Gebekli Tepe, when languages are being developed and a civilization is starting to form. When we're almost entering the Copper Age and leaving the Stone Age, we see some sophistication. It has a black jet pendant in the shape of a stylized human body, almost like modern art discovered in 1991 in Switzerland. And so with that being said, with the world being way older than we previously thought it does, what does that do about the Bible? What do you guys think? Put that in the text, in the comments, let me know what you think, and you have just attained true gnosis.